good afternoon guys and here's a quick little information video that I'm going to give to you to make sure that you do not make this mistake when you're coming to Gibraltar. So if you look on a map or if you look online you'll see the closest train station to Gibraltar is this train station here, San Roque La Linea. But it's nowhere near La Linea and it's nowhere near Gibraltar. So let me show you where you need to go if you're going to Gibraltar by train, say you're travelling from Cordoba or Madrid or somewhere else in Spain. So join me, let's have a look. So guys, today is the 15th of March and it is a beautiful day here. Um, it's about 21 degrees and all week this week since we got back from Morocco, it has been over 20 degrees, so it really feels like spring is starting again. So, here we are at the train station. As I say, you should try and avoid this unless you are willing to pay for a taxi. If you get a taxi from here, it's about 20 to 25 euros to the balls of Gibraltar. But if you're on a budget, if you're a budget traveller, then you want to avoid this train station. But while we're here, let's go and have a little look around. It's pretty typical, nothing worked here. There was no ticket office open. I tried to use the toilet and you needed to get a key from somewhere else. Also, the ticket machine didn't work because for the purpose of this video, we're gonna just take the short journey two stops down to Alcaceres. I mean, station's very clean. And that, yeah, but San Roque La Linea, I mean, it's fairly close to San Roque, but then again, that's if you're driving. I mean, there are local buses to San Roque Centre, but San Roque doesn't really get a big tourist, uh, get a lot of tourists, really, so, yeah. There was a couple of bars. In fact, there were more bars and restaurants around than was proportionate for the houses that were there so that was quite funny to see but they were all open so you know we had a couple of hours to kill it's the Andalusian flag I just wanted to get that in because I've got a thing about filled with flags yeah so this is the taxi rank it's on the other side not from the way we first walked into the train station there's the bus stop as well so that bus will take you down to Alcacera so there is one bus to the linear but that's one a day and it doesn't coincide with any of the trains that arrive from Madrid or from the north of Spain. So here comes our train. And as I say we're going to take it just to just for the video just to demonstrate where you should go if you're on the budget and you're using the train to come to Gibraltar. So yeah don't make this mistake do not get off here. I know you might be tired because you've had a long time on the train, but just hang on another couple of stops. So guys, if you are going to make the mistake of getting off here, make sure... So let's take a look around the train for this short I think it was a 13 minute journey from San Roque to Alcaceres. The train was very quiet this time, probably because it was at the end of the line. Some beautiful views actually in between um, San Roque and the town. Here we are, we're, uh, we're pulling into Alcaceres now. The cost of this journey was very cheap, it was only €2.60 and the bus from the train station to Alcaceres was 250 and this probably is, in fact, I know this is much quicker. 13 minutes, I think the bus would take 35 minutes to 40 minutes, so yeah. And this drops you right into the centre as well. But the bus station is opposite from Alcaceres, as you're going to see in the next few minutes. But yeah, we're pulling in now. what was surprising, there were a couple of police waiting at the bottom of the platform, just seeing them was getting off the train, so I just had to be a little bit careful here when we were arriving. I didn't want unnecessary attention. So guys, if you are coming to Gibraltar, 
and you're using public transport, you're not going to get a taxi from San Roque, the last station we were at, this is the best one. And I'm going to show you why, I'm going to show you how close the connection is by bus from here to Gibraltar via the linear. Come on, let's go. So there's only about five or six trains going from Alcaceras um, in a day, um, the majority of them going to Madrid. So yeah, it's not too much of a busy station, it's not a big station at all, I mean Alcaceras is a city but it's not the biggest city in Spain, it's actually quite a small city. I mean it's quite a nice station, again it's very clean, you can see there was one more train left when we arrived at five o'clock in the evening that was going to Madrid. At least the ticket offices were open here, and you could even hire cars here. So, another easy thing if you if you don't mind driving when you're on holiday, just hire a car. I think that's the easiest way to get around, not just Gibraltar, but the whole campus in Gibraltar, and uh, all throughout the Costa del Sol as well. But yeah, let me show you if you're on the budget. Where instead of paying the 25 euros for the taxi from San Roque, or you can get a taxi from here. I think it's the same between 25 and 30 euros from here to the border. Um, you can see people grabbing the taxis here. Um, but if you want to save money, what we're going to do is we're going to cross the road. We're going to go to the bus station where the single bus ticket to Lilinia is €2.50. When you arrive to Lilinia bus station, it literally is a two minute walk to the border. You can't miss it. So, yeah, so it's a beautiful evening. The 15th of March, I mean, it feels like spring is here. I mean, even in the night, it's not getting colder than 15, 16 degrees. It's very comfortable. It's a beautiful time of year. That's the helicopter to Sayuta from Alcaceras. Maybe we're going to try that one time. So here we are. We're in the back of the bus station. We've gone in the back bay just because it's quicker than walking around to the front. And yeah, I'm going to show you where exactly you need to get your bus to the linear to get yourself to Gibraltar. As I say, it's a tenth of the price than taking a taxi. So here we are, and this is probably the best way. So you get the train all the way to Alcaceras, and if you want to go to Gibraltar via the linear, you always come to stop number one here. This is the most important. This bus always leaves from this bus stop, nowhere else. But for me, here in Alcaceras, I hope I've explained you the correct way to get to Gibraltar using the Spanish trains. But for me, until the next adventure, I'm off.